for developing drugs for rare diseases, for unmet medical needs. And um, the lead compound in clinical trials now is to treat sickle cell crisis. It's a very um, difficult to treat and um, poorly treated condition currently. And on average, people are in the hospital for about six days. So it's a fairly long hospitalization too. So what we're trying to do with our lead compound is to interrupt that crisis once it started and hopefully get the patients out of the hospital sooner. If the drug worked, it would be potentially transformative in terms of the way the patients were treated. And that's what led us to sickle cell disease because it's such an unmet need that if this drug does work, it will significantly contribute to an improvement in patient care. That's our hope. That's our hope. In terms of the technology, what we do is we, we develop drugs that are mimics of carbohydrates. If you were to take a tennis ball and cut it in half, you'd see fuzz on the outside of the tennis ball. And then that's, in some ways, sort of like what you see if you were to look at a very high resolution um, microscope and look at the surface of a cell, you'd see a layer of carbohydrates that stick out beyond the, um, the surface of the cell and that have a lot to do with how cells interact with other cells. In the case of certain bacterial infections, the bacteria bind to the target cell by interacting with certain carbohydrates on the surface of that target cell. That's how a bacteria might recognize, for example, a lung cell. I'm going to infect a lung cell, I recognize it through a carbohydrate-specific um, interaction. So our drugs interfere with those interactions as a way of trying to treat diseases that are mediated by those uh, interactions.